Ryan put on a post there, but I didn't tell, did tell the ladies to come back. Go check, go check Facebook. From last year, I tell the ladies to come back to the church. Stop right there. See, from last One year ago, I'm me, I said, upon this post from last year, I tell her. Right now, you're going to be unstoppable. Welcome back viewers, if this is your very first time to this channel and you have not yet hit the subscribe button, please consider hitting the subscribe button now and the notification bell so once we upload a video, you'll be alerted. So people, it seems like Futa Hype is officially a free man. The persons were saying, yo, freedom for Futa Hype, congratulations, and even Mama Kingston, which is Sean Kingston, mother, a bigger Futa Hype, and I said freedom, though you know Mama Kingston and Futa Hype is pretty close, so Mama Kingston would know what is is going on with Futa Hype and then a short time after Lockett's post Futa Hype himself posted this image of him watch to Instagram and saying it's all about time everything just take time so it would appear that Futa Hype is actually out now this post the watch post is the very first post Futa Hype made to Instagram since now we haven't seen Futa Hype come out as yet and actually speak out but we know Futa Hype is one man who just refused to be silenced so soon and very soon we're sure we are going to see Futa Hype come out and do a live stream oh my son so talk to me down below people and let me know if you know glad the Futa Hype is now a free man now on to our next topic, Lady Sa, the Queen of Dancehall, the original Queen of Dancehall, who is now Pastor Marianne Hall, is in the limelight again and it is as a result of a video that she did pertaining to being denied a visa. Now since that video went viral and everybody started to talk about it, Lady Sa did a recent sermon and she was talking about why she believes she was, you know, having issues as far as the visa goes. Now Mr. Vegas had a few things he had to say pertaining to this and as me always say mr vegas no put him out a grung and talk but before we get to what mr vegas had to say me go tell you no no mr vegas himself said he has always been one who is telling lady sir to come back out of the church because it just no make no sense make we listen to a little part of that what's the man but check the history it's a fact so the time is not new because that's the thing i I do not tell you this to come out of the church. You know that too. You can't go look for yourself. Right? I do not say it proud. I say it proud and I say it loud. I do not tell you this to come out of the church and come clean back our crown. See? Um, when you get to a certain mature level in your life, you don't have to sing some more you know, pump and bloody and something. You can sing good, good dance or something. See? And everybody gifted with a certain talent. You know, that you were born with. You know, but through indoctrination and religion, make some of us run away and leave our talent. Right now, we have to struggle right now to get back my fans them. Because when we run back church, my fans them gone. So we have to try to get back my fans them little, 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 little. So Mr. Vegas, this time I'm going to give you a little story from one running where I have with, with, with Lady Sa a couple of years ago at the airport, right? After him, I say, yo, him rate and respect Lady Sa, you know, and you know, him always approach her a certain way. But this time, Lady Sa, she am the man. Wicked. Listen to what Vegas has said. Watch this now. I see her at the airport. I'm going to make a mistake and say, What are you going to do? The woman light me up in front of the other artists, them in the people. Dexter Dobson. So other artists, they then the woman say, Marion Hall will do. I say, but may I just call your mama? Do you know better than that? Eh? The woman dealing with me, oh, kid. In front of people, you know. What's that say? For real? Lock me tail and go sit down in a, in a seat on the plane. Just go board and lock me tail and sit down. Me not to call her mama. The free star mama. Wow. Me share me now. Anyway, you know, so I love our story, so I still put on my two little posts and say, original queen, real dancehall queen. Right? When then kick me out of the church, she go up on Winford. Winford said, what do you think about happened? What happened with Vegas and 
Gina Jennings. You know what the lady said? She said, two people were on the pulpit and one was a devil. You hear that? She said, one was a devil. Still not have her up feet. Me still I reach out to her and I say, Mama, you're the queen. Come for your food. If you can't come, come sing. You're not in my... Ladies, I don't need record. Figure up on stage show. I wonder the baddest artist we ever discover. One of me not talk female. One minute, you, you me say one of the female. One of the baddest artists we ever discover. How we ever see his ladies are. Rip up stage to her when Monday. So me hear the argument, you know. So she has filed for her things. And me no say nothing called apart the personal. You know, so me will talk about things in the public domain. Remember that, you know. When you can't come say when you hear Vegas a gossip about something, that are the difference of people that understand, people that understand the difference of gossip and things that is in the public domain. You can't gossip on things in the public domain. Domain. You have speak of what is in the public domain. So you're all of us entitled to it. From somebody put something out there, you give us, just like when I put my personal life out there, I'm not gossip people are gossip. Me give them something to talk. Right? So me hear the argument say, she stuck a yard. Because she never did for travel and travel. Because according to she, when she went to Jamaica to do the show, she said it's God spoke to her to go. Her God sent her, you know, to go do the show at Jamaica, you know. So she said she trusts God. Because I know so she and God talk all the time. So if God never sent her, she wouldn't go. Because she and God talk on a regular, so you know, say. And God tell her to go. Because she talked to God before she do everything. So a God sent her. And she gets stuck. Right? Now we know, say, anyone that we kept this can happen to people. Because we're not, we're not privileged to the point where Uncle Sam can say, you know how we're in our country. We, in other country, we try to follow the rules and follow the laws. If them know how we're not in country, we have a place where we're born near Jamaica. We're not business. Nobody can deport me from Jamaica. And Jamaica is nice. I just, we, we just have to come together and fight the crime. That's all we need. We just need a nice Jamaica. So we as citizens just need to take it up and we and start beat some people when they might take up badness and go to school and some something, something. And start look for some gunman myself. Right? So, me hear so she gets stuck a yard. But me not say nothing because you know say that personal. She start blaming for one of the youth that she had that. Say, so, she try and people with other people must, must diss on them. She, and she has said, boy, I see it and I try mash her up. And, but I wish she put in the public domain about the youth, you know. So it come like the youth. I get curious according to her words. I try to find a woman. I the internet, I look woman. And got tumble upon an Islamic website and then promise him many wives. And him start subscribing to Islam. So it come like according to her words, because she just put out this, you know. Come like truly you know, I try to find many wives, they go ahead and go get 72 wives or whatever. Them take them things and she get in a trouble feet to according to she. So, it's a delay this. Now, right, I say, so we are going to listen to Minister Al on her most recent sermon, where she had talked about her baptism, the picnic, them, where she had up, and the whole visa thing. Make could take a listen. I got baptized on the 14th of December 2015. The Lord sent me away to Florida. He told me to cancel every concert, to give back the money. I went to Florida, found myself in a one bedroom house. But uh, the peace, the peace that I found was amazing. 
I was riding my blue bicycle, yeah, you call it bikes, and I was just loving the peace. You know, I remember the Lord told me to stay in the Bible. He then placed me in a church hall center with Bishop Henry Fernandez. He is a great teacher of the world. I learned so much there, and I, I, I then recorded an album titled When God Speak. Anyway, things was going fine, you know, people were telling me to look out for danger, look out for stuff, the devil is going to do stuff. I said, no, I'm fine. When I got baptized in our 20, yeah, um, Florida, and I, after the Lord placed me in church, I placed me in school, I thought, I was going to school for my GED, but you know, that is a high school diploma. I was doing so good. I got uh, woke up by the Holy Spirit one night and he said to me, I don't want you to just sing, I want you to preach. So I called a pastor and I told her, the Lord said he doesn't want me to just sing, he wants me to preach. And the pastor starts praying in tongues and all that, you know, and then she gave me a number and ended up at a, a Bible college, yes? So Florida Bible College and Seminary. Now normally you don't get in those Bible college unless you have a high school diploma and other things. Well, I got in there with just a testimony. If you're over 40, I think, yes, 45 or 40, you could get in there with just a powerful testimony. And that was what happened because I was a queen of dance, so I walked away and started serving the Lord. So I got in there and uh, I was just at peace. But one week before I, I, I went to, to, to Bible college, uh, <laughs> So months before that, I was coming back and forth to Jamaica because I, I didn't tell you this part of the story. I did file for my green card. When I filed for my green card, I got approved right away. You know, I filed on, you know, on the basis that I, I am a Grammy winner, yes, and, uh, you know, I have platinum sales and all that. So, you know, it was easy for me. I, I got approved and boom, right away. You know, so I was going back and forth. I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna have a uh, dual citizenship. Mm -hmm. I'm go as soon as I get my green card, I'm gonna go to Israel. I'm gonna get baptized in the River Jordan. Mm -hmm. The devil wasn't having that. Ah, uh -uh, the devil wasn't having that. Anyway, I was coming back and forth to Jamaica. I remember the Lord showed me this this part in the Bible about Balaam and Balak. He told me not to move on one occasion. I said, okay, Lord, and I stayed put. But sometime after that, you know, a woman of God booked a concert here in Jamaica. And I was waiting on the, 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 the temporary car that you get to travel on. So I was waiting on a new one. So I said to the woman of God, I said, you know, I can't make it to Jamaica. I'm going to ask you to put someone in my space, you know. I'll put another minister to work in my space and I'll give you back the little money, you know. She, I don't know what she said, but all I know, I got a call with seven people on the line. It was a conference call and... This other lady was, wasn't talking to me really good, you know. I explained to her that I'm going to school for my high school diploma. I'm, all, I'm about to go into Bible college. And all this, you know, God has opened some doors for me. And he said he wants me to preach. But the woman wasn't having that. She wasn't about kingdom building. She was like, like, we can't have that. We can't have that. Then why you take the money? Why you take I said, but I said, I'm not paying you back. You know what then? She was acting up so... I said, okay, I'll come. I said, all right, I'll just throw in the towel and I'll, I'll come. You know, whatever happened, happened. Remember, I said, you know, the person which I talked about is a church sister, you know, where a part of the show or whatever have something to do with the show. So everybody now knew who did a deal with her, so, you know. So she had put it out there now, you know, if you say the woman makes you, get, makes you lose her things, them, you know. Makes you lose her thing, you know. You hear that? Because the people know the show that she went down to do, and they must know that woman, yeah. And whosoever tell her, say, yo, give me, you know, you, you, you have to come, you have to. You see that church, it's such a true under the bus, you know. Listen to what I go. You all right with that? She said, and then I say, I take the money. But anyway, I came, and I did what I had to do. I worked, I worked, I worked, I did my ministry. It was powerful. It was powerful, but then I got stuck here. Mm -hmm. 
So here goes the story. When I was Lady Shaw, you wouldn't know that I was going through some things. I adopted three children, two was my nephews, and one a, a, a young lady, a little girl. I, I, she's a young lady now. Mm. Uh, and uh, somehow, I did everything I thought a mother you know, should do. But I was very busy back and forth. I bought the computers, I sent them to school. I said, okay, the computer is for, you know, you work in school, whatever, whatever. I didn't know the house was so big that you didn't know what was going on downstairs if you didn't go down there. That's where the boys lived. Now, I didn't know that one of the boys was on the computer, you know, trying to get a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. You know, they're growing up now, so the, the older one was trying to get a girlfriend, and I guess he stopped talking on there, and some people told him he could have up to eight wives. So you know who that be. The boy become a Muslim online. All hell is going to break loose now, people. Because guess what? The devil had already seen that God is about to take me someplace. I wasn't baptized yet, but yes, I was singing songs about God. I grew up in church. I know how to praise God, but I didn't know how to really praise Him from the belly, the inner part of my soul. But I want to tell you what God has made me worship Him and praise Him now. So I'm traveling. It was my birthday. A promoter put on a concert with me in Miami. I'm going to have them come up, you know. The promoter bought two tickets for the two boys. They're going to come up because I don't have time to shop for them. They're going to shop for themselves. I want only to get a call and say, oh, they stopped them at the airport in Jamaica. They can't come. I said, what did you do? One of them said he did nothing. But it's just one. They stopped. Not two. You know, they told him to go to the embassy. I'm going to tell you all that the devil did to me. You all didn't know that because you see me out there praising because... Listen, the devil can't stop my praise. I did a song because of that. You can't stop my praise. Tell the devil. You can't stop my praise. No, definitely the can't stop my praise. So while I'm going through, I'm going through. I'm still loving upon the Lord. I start traveling now. They took his visa away. I start traveling now. The devil. traveling to America. I'm like, boy, what did you do? He said, I didn't do nothing. I just went online and looked on some websites. Don't know what that is. Up until today, day, I don't know what it is. I told him you got to come out of here because we ain't going to stay up in here and praise no other God but the Israel God. Up to this point, I don't know what he did. Says the woman who talks to God. Up to now, she don't know what to do. But God tell her everything else. God tell her if you go around a market, go tell people to ask her where they are. God wake her up out of her bed, go up on the highway, to give her a song. God, the part on stage, she tell Winford, so when she talk to God, God have a nice, smooth voice. And I know she don't know what to look at you do. But she tell him, say, you got to get up, get up out of here. Because nobody now go under that roof here praise no other God but the Israel God. Was it because he was adopted? So if you if you have a son, because you adopt the youth, so the youth are here pitting now. She admit that the youth go through some abuse. If you come across a problem, wouldn't you get a lawyer or somebody to get to the bottom of the problem? What if him never do anything and somebody and them accuse him falsely? You just look upon him and say, you have to get up out of here because nobody now prays not a God in here but Israel God. So what if the youth now you say, come out of here because you now praise my God and him go turn to crime and violence and hurt people because Based on what you're saying, them take away papers because he might get radical. In, in, you know? So why wouldn't you take him and groom him and ask God to intervene and have him on your wings to make sure say, him not go radical? Because this is supposed to be your son we adopt. 
why would you even come now publicly and talk about this youth, everybody around you um, in a community, whatever, know him. You talk about him age, so they know I wish one. And you tell the world, say, him did not try to subscribe to Islam, forget radical. So now somebody can look on him now and either recruit him or ridicule him. Or scorn him. You see, when I'm talking to people, you think some is a man that come and deal with something, come mix up, mix up, something, and something, something, you know. Me I tell you some things where I don't have to think people. Because a lot of women subscribe to this lady. We're gone off too far in the deep. Where she lose all practicality. Up to this day, she admits that she don't know what the youth do. Why, as a mother, lady, sir, God, that never call you. Because you don't know, use the name there again. Because you say you give back Satan the name there. Sorry if you call yourself, Sister Marian. Why Sister Marian wouldn't get to the bottom of what happened with our son? Are you adapting me now? You come now and show the youth out there. And people are hallelujah, amen, and that's it. As she and her sister alone in the house, you know, and maybe two little baby, you know. Our host that she convert in her people. We don't see ladies on need therapy. We don't go just there and take something light and encourage her. We don't see ladies on need therapy. Now, when you hear Minister Hall's sermon, you don't hear the things that Minister Hall say, and you don't hear Mr. Vegas' input on the whole thing, right? What do you have to say in regards to this? And one thing Mr. Vegas say, if you put it out there in the public domain, then it's public business. It is no longer private. So nobody come and talk about Mr. Vegas need to leave the woman business alone and re, re, re. If you put it out there in the public, then it is no public business. All right? Now, one point Mr. Vegas touched upon the more uno talk about. Do you agree that, you know, Minister Hall, Minister Hall, no longer lady, sir, should have put out the youth out of the house because he chose a certain religion of his own? What do you say to that? More of you from you in the comment section. All right? What are your views on that? I'm one of the real, authentic Christian them too, as a matter of fact. More than love if uno answer the question there. Would you... Put out your very biological son. We're not even talking about adopted. Would you put out your biological son or daughter out of your house if you find out that your son or daughter is not worshipping the God that you worship, but choose to worship another God, meaning another religion? More fear from you. Watch on, man. This has been another one from Unstoppable TV. Like, share, comment, and definitely don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, no matter what, don't make nobody stop you. Don't me done with this. Me gone. Right now you know we unstoppable. Unstoppable.